Hey everyone, my name is Nathan Pay and welcome to Blue Ocean Crypto. If you missed our introduction to Bomb Crypto, be sure to click the link appearing on screen now in order to get a quick rundown of the game. I'm so stoked for today's video because we're going to be setting up a new account in Bomb Crypto. If you want to follow along, you'll find the official links down in the description below, and be sure to leave us some comments on what heroes you receive. I personally started my account quite a while ago and have really enjoyed it so far. We also have quite a few of our Game Guild members playing as well, so be sure to reach out in our Discord community if you have any questions or just want to chat with the team. So there are a couple important things that you're going to need to know in order to get started. Step 1. Get some Bcoin. Before you can proceed, you're going to need some BNB in your MetaMask wallet on the Binance Smart Chain. Let's first head to CoinGecko. Always use sites like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap to ensure that the project you're visiting is the correct one. What we'll do now is add Bcoin's token address to our MetaMask by clicking the little fox icon here. Doing so, we'll add the Bcoin token to our wallet. If you missed our MetaMask tutorial, be sure to click the link appearing on screen now. Perfect! As you can see now, we have successfully added Bcoin into our MetaMask wallet. This is also where you'll find all the official links to their website, socials, medium, and white paper. The link we'll provide in the description below will guide you directly to this page. I highly recommend you use sites like CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap to ensure that you are using a verified and trusted link. Scrolling down the page, let's look and see where we can buy some Bcoin. There are a number of exchanges that we can use, and although LBank has the most volume, I'll be using PancakeSwap. By clicking here, we'll be redirected to PancakeSwap, where we'll be able to swap BNB directly for Bcoin. After we have read this and checked off that we understand, we can proceed. Now, we're swapping BNB for Bcoin, not the other way around, so we'll need to switch these. Perfect. Now make sure you don't swap all your BNB because you're going to need some for transaction fees. So, we're probably going to do 0 0.0837, which will leave us 0 0.01 BNB to cover those transaction fees. Wow, that's actually going to give us quite a bit of Bcoin. Hmm, we should probably have a little bit more BNB in the wallet just to be safe for those transaction fees. So I'm actually going to switch it to 0 0.07 just to be safe. Whoops, looks like I haven't connected my wallet yet. Let's do that. Now that we have, you can see our wallet's balance here. Click the swap button. And before confirming, make sure all the details are in order and you have enough BNB to cover the transaction fee. If this is your first time on PancakeSwap, there may be some additional prompts that you need to confirm, but make sure you read them carefully before proceeding. After we confirm the swap, there'll be a prompt that comes up in MetaMask, and just like I mentioned, make sure to read that. As you can see here, we have the transaction details, the estimated gas fee and total cost. It's always a good idea to carry some BNB to cover the gas fees that you'll encounter playing the game. Everything is in order, so let's confirm the swap. Okay, transaction pending. Let's give this a moment and done. Open up MetaMask and confirm in our assets that we have the Bcoin in our wallet. Look at that, a whole bunch of Bcoin in our MetaMask wallet. Sweet. Step two, log in. Again, we can find the official link on CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap, but since we have it open on another tab, we'll just hop over. I can't say this enough. Always read the terms of service. This is even more important in Web3. I have read it, so pushing right along, let's connect our MetaMask wallet through the MetaMask connection option. Approve the connection in your MetaMask wallet and sign the signature request. Now it's going to let us into the game. Sometimes it can take a moment to load or stall while loading. Don't panic, just refresh or reconnect. So now that we're in the game, you can see that we have 346 Bcoin. 
which matches what we have here in our wallet. Now before we can actually play the game, we're going to have to get some heroes. Step 3. Get some heroes. So, we'll need heroes to play the various game modes. To buy heroes, click the knight icon in the bottom right, then buy. As you can see here, we can purchase one hero for 10 B-Coin or 5 cents mark. Since we have B-Coin in our wallet, that's the route we'll be taking. You can purchase either one hero, five heroes, or 10 heroes at a time. We'll be purchasing a total of 15 heroes right now, as you'll need a minimum of 15 in order to access the adventure mode. It's always a good practice to read and confirm the transaction details within your MetaMask before proceeding. Let's take a look at this here before we click on anything. Hmm, this is taking a little longer than expected. Let's check our MetaMask for any unapproved transactions that might be stuck. That explains it. Sometimes we have to manually approve. If you ever run into this issue, you can find the transaction in the activity section of your MetaMask. I find it to be a good habit to have MetaMask open while the transactions are going through. Great, we've got some heroes. This guy is common and has one power, two speed, two stamina, one bomb, and one bomb range. His special attribute is that he gets plus damage to prison explosions. We'll take a closer look at the various special attributes in our next video. For now, stats, special attributes, character design, and NFT rarity are random. So fingers crossed we get some heroes with great stats. Oh, that's really lucky that we got a super rare. As you can see, the stats are quite a bit better, and this hero has three special attributes. That's great to see. And away they go. You can see how they're going to start mining. Remember how I told you you want a minimum of 15 heroes to start with? That's because it'll unlock this adventure mode. So let's grab some more. By accessing the chest, we can see our inventory of heroes at a glance. Next to the chest is the shop. Let's click on it and get some more heroes, and we'll be getting five for 50 B-Coin. Hmm, looks like the same issue as before too. No worries, this is why we have our MetaMask open. Let's just approve the transaction manually. Boom, five more heroes, let's go. These stats are pretty good for commons, but no more super rares. That's just the way it goes. But now that we have our 15 heroes, we can access the adventure mode. From time to time, your heroes will find a key while mining in Treasure Hunt. These keys will let you play adventure mode. Going back to the treasure hunt, we can see we have all 15 heroes dropping bombs and mining. As they mine, their stamina will deplete. Once they've used all their stamina, you'll need to put them in rest mode. Click the night icon in the bottom right, and once their stamina has reached zero, click the rest button to charge it up. This can take several hours and longer depending on the rarity. When their stamina bar is full, you can click work to activate them again. That's really all you guys need to know to get started with Bomb Crypto. In the next video in our Bomb Crypto series, we'll show you how to upgrade heroes, the various special attributes, and if we found a key, we'll take a look at adventure mode. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to drop those likes, hit the subscribe button, and the bell notification. You know the drill. And until next time, cheers.